Mortal Kombat 1 was groundbreaking at release, but the biggest question that everybody has is what are the major differences between Mortal Kombat 1 and its predecessor, Mortal Kombat 11? What are the differences in game and the mechanics of the fight? What about in game features and in game modes? And the other question that everybody's asking is, you know, which one is better? Well, today I'm here to show you these differences side by side and help you understand those major differences and maybe even help you decide which one is better. So subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat and fighting game content and let's get right into it. Let's talk about in game mechanics first. First. And the first in-game mechanic we'll talk about is the ways to pop up. And what I mean by that is like pop up your opponent for combos. In Mortal Kombat 1, every single character basically has either a special move or a string combo that'll pop your opponent up for combos. And you see pop-ups in Mortal Kombat 1 far more often. And the reason why is because Mortal Kombat 1 has dedicated aerial attacks. So you have legitimate combos that are meant to be used in the air. So in the air, Raiden has 2-1-2. Two, and that is a specific aerial combo. The cameo system that we'll talk about in a minute can also put your opponent in the air as well. You have multiple ways to get your opponent in the air in Mortal Kombat 1, talking about just normal strings, special moves even. And like I said, even cameos. Now, Mortal Kombat 11 does have ways to pop up your opponent, including special moves and meter burning them. But Mortal Kombat 1 is a very grounded game. You had to rely on crushing blows in this game to really get some good pop-ups and combos going. And they looked like this. So as you see, we used a crushing blow to pop up our opponent, thus allowing us to continue the combo. But as you saw in Mortal Kombat 1, they had specific aerial combos. Mortal Kombat 11 does not have those. It's very grounded compared to Mortal Kombat 1. Not a bad thing, but that is a very different gameplay style. It's very neutral. It's very, it's very grounded. That's just the best way I can put it. Now let's talk about breaking out of a combo. This mechanic is very different from both games and in Mortal Kombat 1, they brought back the feature called Breaker. So first, here's how it looks. As you can see right there, it uses all three of our super meter. So it's pretty resource expensive and it breaks us out of a combo. Again, it's kind of resetting the fight and making you decide, okay, what's next? What's your next move at that point? That is the biggest breakaway mechanic in Mortal Kombat 1 that is very different than Mortal Kombat 11. But in Mortal Kombat 11, they had breakaways. They sound similar, but they're very different. And the reason why, first of all, you can see that Mortal Kombat 11 has two different bar systems. We have offensive bars and defensive bars, and they're used for different things. Things. Breakaways, as you'll see right here, used both of our defensive meters. So technically it used two bars, not three, like it does in Mortal Kombat 1. But even after using a breakaway like that, we still have our two offensive bars to use. And the breakaway doesn't essentially push your opponent away from you like breakers do in Mortal Kombat 1. It just gives you armor and allows you to kind of roll out of a combo. So at the end of the day, Mortal Kombat 1's breakers and Mortal Kombat 11's breakaways are just very different. Now, what about wake up attacks? Well, in Mortal Kombat 1, you can do any special move for a wake up, but only one one of your special moves will have armor allowing you to go through a move that's probably your best wake up option. So here's one example without the armor. As you can see, we couldn't even really get it out because we didn't have the armor. So here's how it might look with the armor. Now you can delay that get up. You can do a special move for a get up. You can even use some cameos for get up as well. And some cameo moves have invulnerability on them. And that might also make for a great get up attack as well, like this. Mortal Kombat 11 does have armored moves, yes, but the way the wake up attacks work are very different. You can't use special moves as wake up attacks in Mortal Kombat 11. You have specific wake up attacks. You have up two and up three as you get up. And both of those are pretty different. Using up two as a wake up attack allows us for a pop up, but we don't have invulnerability. So it can be interrupted, but here's how that might look. So as you saw, our wake up attack was a pop up allowing us to continue the combo and that's great. But like I said, that can be interrupted. So if you do that and you get hit, you're probably going to waste a meter and get punished for it. Up three, however, is not a pop up, but it has invulnerability. And here's how that looks. As you saw, we woke up with 1-3, got our opponent off of us. We can't continue the combo, but we are able to go through some hits because we had the invulnerability. So it's like, do you want to risk it and get the pop-up with up 2? Or do you want to play it safe, gain that invulnerability, and just use up 3? They're very different. Especially when Mortal Kombat 1 allows you to use any special move you want and gives one of them armor, and you can also use cameos as well. Mortal Kombat 11, you basically only have two options. I mean, you can roll away, sure. So I guess you had three options, but still. Another difference that a lot of people don't 
really recognizes the Fatal Blow animation. Both in Mortal Kombat 1 and in Mortal Kombat 11, the Fatal Blow was tied to your health. So as soon as you get below that 30% mark, you're gonna have access to your Fatal Blow, which you can then put in combos. So in Mortal Kombat 1, the Fatal Blow has an animation like this. Before it connects, you have to keep that in mind because that animation and the way it hits your opponent can really dictate your combo and how you put your Fatal Blow in combos. And yeah, Mortal Kombat 11, same thing. Your Fatal Blow was tied to your health. But in Mortal Kombat 11, the animation is very different. Here's how that looks. As you can see, there was no actual cinematic animation. So if you use that inside of a combo like this, it's just kind of like part of your combo. You don't really have a cinematic scene to, to interrupt all that. I love the way Mortal Kombat 1 did cinematics for the Fatal Blows, but I kind of like that this is just like part of my combo, you know? It just looks super clean to me, but that's just personal preference. Another change that was made from Mortal Kombat 11 to Mortal Kombat 1 is actually the end screen of the fight. And what I mean by that is when the fight is over, the last hit connects, there's kind of this slow move that'll happen that kind of indicates yeah that was the last hit of the fight but then go ahead and continue your combo if you want to for a brutality maybe not gonna lie to you i'm not the biggest fan of the slow-mo it kind of interrupts my combos and i hate to admit it but i drop my combos more often than not because of that and it ruins my brutalities and stuff like that and i'm just not a big fan the way that mortal kombat 1's fights ended as you saw there kind of a slow motion animation and mortal kombat 11 is a little bit different and here's what i mean here's how the last hit looks finish him it still slows down like that and then the finishing pops up. So as you saw, they are pretty similar with the slow motion at the very end there, but Mortal Kombat 11's in my opinion is a bit more distracting as it yells finish him. So it's telling you either do the brutality or end this and do a fatality. I'm not a big fan of either one. I wish it was kind of like Mortal Kombat X where I just let me continue the combo into brutality without any slow motion, even after I do the last hit, but that's just me. But there you can see the similarities of how the fight might end. Just to hammer at home, that major difference from Mortal Kombat 11 to Mortal Kombat 1 and the way the combo system works is Mortal Kombat 1 is pretty focused on those air combos. And going back to the whole bar system of the game, Mortal Kombat 1 took a pretty hefty left turn compared to Mortal Kombat 11. As you can see on the screen right here, we have three bars. Pretty similar to Mortal Kombat 9's and Mortal Kombat X's, where we can use it to enhance our moves thus giving us combo extension, more damage, different properties to the move, stuff like that. And like I said before, we can use it for breaker as well. If you have all three bars, you can use it for wake up attacks and gain armor. You have those three bars for a reason. And it's very different than Mortal Kombat 11. And Mortal Kombat 11 decided to take a really sharp turn here and make it vastly different. Rather than three bars, we have two bars. We have defense and offensive bars. Defensive bars can be used for like wake up attacks, roll aways, break away, stuff like that. And even stage interactions like this. Then your offensive bars was mainly used to enhance your special moves like this and gain combo extension. They're used very differently. You have four bars in Mortal Kombat 11. Yes, yeah, so you have more bars essentially, but you only have two bars to enhance your special moves. Whereas in Mortal Kombat 1, you could use all three of those bars that you have for enhancing your special moves. So it's kind of a trade-off. A lot of people did not really like the way Mortal Kombat 11 did it. And they're very happy that Mortal Kombat 1 went back to the three bar system. Yeah, it's kind of personal preference. I also prefer the three bar system but i kind of see why you might like this one instead it, again it's just it's just personal preference in mortal kombat 1 every character has their special moves and you can't really change their special moves mortal kombat 1 has the cameo system this is kind of like your assist fighter however i like to picture it more like extra special moves mortal kombat 11 had special moves you can pick and choose for your character and that's kind of how the cameo system works because think about it this way i'm not playing as serena i'm playing as raiden however choosing Serena as my cameo, I can then use Serena's Blade special move in my moveset. So I can do a normal string into a special move called Serena's Blades and then continue the combo like this. So cameos, in my opinion, are kind of like adding special moves to your character's kit, but that extra special move has a cameo face and a cameo animation. So it does look and feel a bit different, but it is kind of like picking and choosing your special moves in a way. But of course, the biggest difference is anybody can choose Serena. So they, anybody can choose to use Serena's or Scorpion's or Jax's special moves in their kit. It's not character specific or character locked. Mortal Kombat 1 has cameos allowing you to essentially add a special 
special move to your character where Mortal Kombat 11 we quite physically and literally choose the special moves you want for your character so for an example right in here we have three slots and I choose and I want to use Storm Cell for one of them and Spark Port for the other two thus filling all three of my slots whereas some Raiden mains they might want to use Super Bowl or Rolling Thunder the way that I play I don't use those but you could the only problem with this is this is Raiden specific and so what that really means is there are better special moves out of these options here so let's say hypothetically Storm Cell and Electric Burst and Quick Charge were the three best possible options once word gets out from a YouTuber or online or Reddit or whatever all Raiden mains are probably going to choose these three special options and not use all these other ones it kind of makes it so like okay well these aren't really useful because these three are the best ones now sure the same thing be said for the Mortal Kombat 1 cameo system you know there are better cameos sure but the cameos benefited different characters in different ways these moves are specific to your character so once you found the best special moves to choose from you didn't really change them that often when it comes to the gear and the customization for the two games they are pretty different in Mortal Kombat 1 we do have gear however we only have one gear piece per character in Raiden's case it is the hat so yeah we can pick and choose the hat and that is our gear piece great in Mortal Kombat 1 we do have palettes and these are skins per character as you see here for Raiden we have four different skins and those skins have different color palettes we can choose from so that is pretty cool but when it comes to the total overall customization of your character I feel like Mortal Kombat 11 has more options and keep in mind this is all as of this recording so maybe by the time you're watching this video uh, Raiden and other characters have more gear pieces they have more palettes just as of right now it's a bit more in depth on the Mortal Kombat 11 side whereas in Mortal Kombat 11 we have three gear pieces like I said so for Raiden here you know we can do the hat we can do the stays we can do the medallion we can customize each one of those gear pieces to our liking and then still give our character a skin or you know like a palette so right off the bat there's just more customization it seems in Mortal Kombat 11 with the three gear pieces and the skins and as of right now you can't customize your intros or victory screens in Mortal Kombat 1 but you can do so in Mortal Kombat 11 so here we can choose what cinematic do we want to see when we get a victory and how we want our character to do their intro before the fight begins there is an intro to the characters and they kind of have this banter back and forth and that was very well done in Mortal Kombat 11 in my opinion the characters would like walk on screen and then talk but as you see right here in Mortal Kombat 1 they kind of just clash shoving their arms against one another and they only have one line so somebody will say something and then the next character says their one thing and then they push apart and the fight starts now this might be personal preference at this point but I prefer the way that Mortal Kombat 11 did it by having a I talk smack you talk smack and then I rebuttal that and the way the characters would just like walk on screen preparing for the fight just made the fight feel I don't know more in depth feel a bit more fleshed out again that's probably personal preference but that's just what I like so though it's a small change in a small part of the fight the intros man people people just love their intros now what about the game's online features and the game modes in Mortal Kombat 1 we do have story and we have the towers and rather than the crypt Mortal Kombat 1 has invasions invasions you can go around and choose your mace that you want to explore it's kind of like a board game exploration because you can go like you know spot to spot and this is where you can have fights this is where you unlock cosmetics you have consumables to increase resistances and give you special effects it is a different and unique take on a different game mode that I think the Mortal Kombat devs wanted to give a shot is it everyone's favorite no there's a lot of controversy online between the likeness of invasions and whether you like it or not I'm kind of torn I do enjoy it at times but there are quite often times where I I feel a bit tedious and I don't really want to play I don't really care to explore I don't really care for the rewards but that's just me there's a lot of people that really do enjoy it and some that hate it online Mortal Kombat 1 does have combat league which is your ranked matches they got casual matches they got private matches as of right now you cannot privately practice with a friend online you cannot create rooms or anything like that it does have a cross play which is nice so at the end of the day it's pretty good so after you beat the story you can grind out invasions every season that it's updated play online ranked and casuals and that's kind of about it for Mortal Kombat 1 now what about the features in Mortal Kombat 11 yes we have story yes we have towers of time just like Mortal Kombat 1 we don't have invasions but we do have the crypt right as you see for the crypt here it's 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 not like a board game you don't go from spot to spot it is quite literally exploration kind of like an open world game in a way you can just explore the crypt find its secrets find chests find cosmetics find all of its secrets and just have a blast doing so the crypt in Mortal Kombat 11 was awesome and I think a lot of the fans a lot of the audience really agrees on this they love the way Mortal Kombat 11 did the crypt oh look at this we have another secret right here oh cool let's do it let's see what's inside 
And this is how you unlock more cosmetics that you can see right here. It has story secrets like we see here, Goro's dead. It was just a really cool mode in my opinion. And I like invasions, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I think I prefer the crypt. Another big difference compared to the game is the way the fights can end. As of right now, as of this recording, Mortal Kombat 1 only has fatalities and brutalities. Whereas Mortal Kombat 11 has fatalities, they got brutalities, they got mercies, they got friendships. There is leaks and rumors that Mortal Kombat 1 will end up getting mercies and friendships and possible even more stuff. But again, as this recording, there's only a few ways to end the match, it seems, when it comes to Mortal Kombat 1, I mean. So as of right now, Mortal Kombat 11 does have more ways to end the fight. Mortal Kombat 1 and Mortal Kombat 11 are very similar in a lot of ways, but also very different in many other ways. When it comes to the gameplay and the mechanics of the fight, in-game features and in-game modes, they're just so very different that I wouldn't blame you if you really enjoyed Mortal Kombat 11, but then kind of don't like Mortal Kombat 1. And maybe vice versa, Maybe you hated Mortal Kombat 11, but you love Mortal Kombat 1. The community is very split on these two games and I kind of get it. They just feel very different. Nothing wrong with that, of course. That's just the dev's decision and the direction that they wanted to take their newest game. At the end of the day, it's very hard to decide which game is better over the other one. Just because right now, Mortal Kombat 1 is still in development, meaning we're gonna continue to get more stuff, right? Like we're gonna continue to get more endings to the fight, probably mercies and friendships and babalities. We're most likely gonna get story expansion packs and more combat packs for more characters, updates to the mechanics and how the whole thing works. It's still in development in that aspect. As of right now, there are a bit more features and more stuff in Mortal Kombat 11, it feels like, but the way they play and the way the games are built are just so different. Personally, I'm a bigger fan of Mortal Kombat 1, even as of right now, but I know a lot of people are bigger fans of Mortal Kombat 11 and the way that game was built. So which one is better? Ah, it's hard to say. I'm gonna lean towards Mortal Kombat 1. That's just my personal preference. I love the way the game plays feels in Mortal Kombat 1 and I think at the end of the day the gameplay is what matters most but that's just me let me know your thoughts down below what do you think of Mortal Kombat 1 compared to Mortal Kombat 11 what are things that you don't like they changed and what are things that you do like they changed let me know all your thoughts down below subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat and fighting game content turn that bell on so you don't miss a thing take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more Mortal Kombat news guides reactions and more